You're watching WMAR 2 News. The two victims of the drive by double shooting in Middle River are now in police custody. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. This new information came out during a town hall meeting last night at a church in Middle River talking about this case and other crime in the area. The two people were injured on Tuesday when police say someone shot at their SUV, causing the car to crash into a utility pole. Baltimore County police say the victims were not from the area and that the man in the SUV is a known drug dealer. Right now, investigators believe the victims were targeted. Their names have not been released. Police are still looking for the gunman. Police in Aberdeen say they're investigating the city's first murder since 2016. Officers went to a mobile home at the Rancho Estates on Wednesday for a report of someone going into cardiac arrest. But once inside, they found the body of 20-year-old Kayla Hamilton. Investigators have not said exactly how she died. The chief medical examiner's office in Baltimore is now doing an autopsy to determine a cause of death. Digital artwork that was done by a local elementary school student has the chance to be seen by billions of people. Edison Lee from Rockburn Elementary School in Elkridge made it to the top five in this year's Doodle for Google. Every year, Google asks students across the country to submit their artwork for a Google Doodle. This year's prompt was, I care for myself by, and then fill in the blank. Edison answered, quote, by dreaming of my bright future. And there's his artwork. If he wins, his art will be featured on Google's homepage for a day. He'll receive a $30,000 scholarship and a $50,000 technology package for his school. We have a link to vote for Edison's artwork on our website at WMAR2news.com. And your furry friend can enjoy a sweet treat this weekend from a popular ice cream brand. The Ben & Jerry's Pup Culture Tour is going to be at Monument City Brewery today starting at 3.30. They'll have dog-friendly treats and activities. We have the other stops the truck is making in Baltimore this weekend posted on our website. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Looking at what our temperatures are for today, well, we're going to be in those 80s yet again. Thankfully, a cold front does move through. That helps cool us down slightly, but then also dry us out. That's going to be the biggest benefit out of this cold front besides the shower activity. Yes, we'll have those temperatures hanging around those mid to upper 80s. But when we look at tonight's dinner forecast, those showers will move in with that cold front and possibly end up putting a bit of a damper on your plans if you look to eat outside. Maybe it is better to eat indoors if you're going out for Baltimore's restaurant week. It is the last weekend. Yet again, looking at our weekend forecast, not a terrible one as we continue to see much drier conditions and that continues for us into throughout this weekend before showers return on Monday. All right, thank you, Caesar, and stay with WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, you can download the WMAR2news app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.